Hey guys, so today we are going to make bougie home decor. Uh, you could use it for home decor or whatever. This one I put a white string on and I just, yeah, whatever. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make these and I'm actually gonna be using these in my portraits tomorrow when I do um, photography and we're gonna talk about that. But I made these today and I wanted to share them with you guys. So if you want to find out how to make these, stay tuned to find out and I'm probably forgetting to say something. If you like this video at the end, like. If you want to hang out more, subscribe. And I would love your feedback, so comment. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. You're amazing. Wait, hold up. You should never get up on your daydream. Morning, my royal phoenixes. Uh, as a favorite African auntie, say good morning, fam. Um, so cute. I just found her, uh, and she is just I love her. So, if you guys haven't checked her out, I will leave a link in the description below. She is adorable. I just I adore her, and yeah, so she was. So, I've been doing research on new innovative ideas for self photography and backdrops and just props and stuff. And I came across her stuff, and I really like it. And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I saw this picture now. Hers, she's she's just. She's an African queen. I just adore her, her personality, her charisma. I mean, her vocabulary. Can we just reflect on the beautiful, elegant words? I mean, her tact, her grace. I mean, she's just, to me, she's just an exquisite human being. And I admire her very much. Um, so definitely check her out. But she does a lot of uh, plants and stuff that you would maybe see in Africa. It's just a very... African queen vibe and I just love it and just I'm looking at whatever pictures right now and she is just her body everything about her is just gorgeous so I've been wanting to do something along the same lines but what I wanted to really incorporate was my heritage which is Latin and Egyptian and so I was just really trying to find something that really just emphasized that or was really my style and so while I was just kind of Looking up ideas, which I was really struggling to find any inspiration, I did come across this. And I think, oh, there's a glue on my nail. Um, I think it's really cute. And so I wanted to make those with these. And hopefully with, I do have my green screen, so I'll find out when I do this in editing if this is going to go away. But I wanted to use these. And I also have, um, I've made paper flowers before so this is just a bunch of wire so I wanted to attempt to make these little 3d diamonds and do that and we'll I'll kind of show you a little bit about that and then um I don't know you guys let me know like would you rather me just put everything on here I mean I'm a daily vlogger so you know my days I really do a little bit of everything and that's why you know with 31 days of boozy on a budget um there's just so much to incorporate and we talk about it, but then I'm going to be putting like the tutorials on my other channel. Would you guys rather me just do a longer video and just kind of put it all in here? Or would you rather have like two different channels to go watch it? I don't know. You tell me. Um, so uh, with that all being said, I also want to say if you like what you're seeing and you'd like to see more, definitely subscribe. Like this video and leave a comment below. Um, I would love to have you here. But other than that, let's get started on making this little uh, 3D diamond real quick that I'm going to use as a prop in my selfie game. And we're going to talk more about the selfies and taking those pictures tomorrow. For this first one, I'm actually using uh, stems from flowers. I got these flowers at the dollar store and I use them for little crafts and they actually work out really good. So I'm just pulling these apart and taking the stems off. And so these are just, I think this is just a really cheap way to get a bunch in a really expensive manner. And then I just keep the bottoms and use them for other projects. So I'm just going to cut all 12 of these to make the smaller ones that we're going to do first because hot glue does not typically like sticking to metal. So we're going to use these which are already coated in a plastic. You can use scissors, but I wouldn't recommend it. I have a pair of pliers and I'm just taking the part that would potentially be the cutter, the wire cutter, whatever you want to call it. If you have wire cutting scissors, that'd be great too. So I have six and then I have another six. I'm going to need 12. And then I'm just putting these, the flowers, because they just pop right off in here. And then I'm measuring them all out to the same size and cutting them down. Not 
really worried about uh, if the greens are slightly different in color because when we're done I'm going to be painting them gold and I'm going to be trying with gold paint, gold nail polish as well as gold spray paint just to see which one works. I think that the gold paint will work just fine but I have also gold nail polish and gold spray paint to back it up. So now we have 12 of these here and these are all the same length as you can see and hopefully it does not disappear um, because I have a green screen that we're going to be messing with. So I'm going to take these extra ones and get them out of my way. And then I'm going to take four and I'm going to glue them all together and make a perfect square. I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put this right here. And I kind of want uh, a little bit of roundedness on the corners. And I'm just going I like to like roll it so that they both kind of get it on there. And then I'm just gonna hold it and let it dry and I'm going to repeat that to all the sides. I did this with E6000 glue, however, I did not because it just takes longer to dry. So if the metal one, when we use the metal pieces, um, and if they, if the hot glue is not gonna work, which I don't think it will, then I will use E6000 to put them together. I would use my soldering stuff, but I don't know where my soldering stuff is at the moment. Also, when I do this, I kind of stagger them. So this one is behind this one, this one's gonna go in front, and then this one's gonna go behind. Does that make sense? Because it makes sense to me. So now I'm going to go ahead and just set that down. You guys can't see, so I'm going to like bring it down here. That's a lovely shot. It's my bougie outfit. I dressed it for myself, so you guys, it's not even, yeah. So now I'm going to want to put these together like this and bring them to a point. So I'm going to go ahead and put a dot of glue there dot of glue right here. Bring those down and just bring those together. Holding that in place. Do 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 do. Let that cool down for a moment. And then I'm gonna go ahead. It's okay. There. And then I'm going to repeat the same steps to the other side. I guess I need to move it more back. Glub -glub 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 -glub. Okay, so that is done. And any little glue flyaways just pull off. So I'm just going to grab, I'm going to use my embroidery thread here. I'm just gonna pull some of that off. Should be good. Go ahead and cut that. Yeah, I do embroidery too. We'll get into that another time. I got myself all tangled. All right. Okay, so now, oh, I think where to go. I'm gonna grab my gold paint and a paintbrush. I'm gonna pull paint on my paper. So oh, another neat hack that I accidentally found, um, I have an old acetone, like you stick your finger in it and clean it, so it's got these, these little groovy things here. After all the acetone was gone, I just put water in it with a little bit of alcohol to clean my brushes and those little scrubby things that you're supposed to use your nails work great for cleaning off your brushes.
really like the way it looks. I like these little bulbous ends. Obviously, you don't have to do it like that. You can do it much more clean if you wanted to. Um, so here's the first one, and I had all this stuff at home already, uh, just because I'm a really crafty person, and um, I'm always being innovative and finding what I have to make something and do what I want. So I mean, you could go buy these. I'm sure you can. I can probably find them online. I, I would imagine they're probably. 35 bucks or more a pop um, if you found these online uh, but these are gonna do what you want at least they're gonna do what I want them to do just fine but um, for me uh, if I went out to buy everything that I just used to make this I went to the shop uh, to the Dollar Tree I got one stem of flowers that had 12 pieces on them $1 uh, to go buy a brand new glue gun $2.99 because I always lose those and then I have to buy them again. So I've got like a bazillion glue guns around this entire house. I swear to God, I probably have six. <laughs> and then um, a bag of really cheap glue sticks. I mean, you can get the more expensive ones. But I mean, just for a basic bag, it's about $3.99, $5.99. Go to Hobby Lobby, get your 40% off coupon. Even cheaper, Joanne's 50% off coupon. Boom. And then this gold, I believe, was $1.99. I mean, it's straight up metallic, though, so it might have been a little bit more. But again, get your coupon and go. Uh, so I think in total, I would, if I would have gone out and bought everything I needed to make this, um, it would have been what, 15 let's say $15. And then I would still have stuff other than needing more wire. I would have stuff left over to make an abundance more. So... And you can even do this with popsicle sticks, you guys, which I'm going to try. I actually have popsicle sticks. Like I said in the last video, if you guys watched my Snapchat, I totally got bored and made a little dollhouse room. <laughs> and that's where the green screen comes in because I'm going to try and shrink myself down and put me in there. Um, I got a bunch of projects to do. <laughs> but anyway, so here is this. And then I have flowers I want to put in it and hang that up. But, I, but here's the basic. I mean, you could just leave it like this or you could add, excuse me. I want to do my backdrop is a bright bright pink and so like I'm going to um, oops, I got here. so I'm gonna end up crazy gluing or hot gluing and I, I want it to go inward like this so then I go ahead so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually so the way this is I'm gonna cut this little piece off right here and then I'm going to put just a dab of hot glue on that to keep it in secure. And then I'm going to put a little bit more hot glue on there. And I want it on this side. I think I got these flowers from Joann's or um, Michael's. I don't remember. And sometimes, so I, here's what I've noticed. Um, if I'm going in and buying flowers from a store... And I find flowers on the floor. And legitimately, I find the flowers on the floor. I don't go picking them. Um, and I'm buying flowers uh, usually. And I I go in and buy so many flowers. They're usually really nice about it. But if I go in and I buy flowers and I pick up the ones off the floor, sometimes the stores will actually let me take them. Otherwise, I just throw them out. You just need to ask. And then sometimes they don't. It just depends. I've gone to some stores and they're like, no. And they just throw them away. And I'm just like, ah, don't throw stuff away that I could make stuff with to make people smile. Like, seriously, dude? I don't know. Anyways. So I'm going to stick this one right in here. And uh, as you can see, so I have moved the string so it's not too side heavy. Maybe just a smidge, but that's okay because we're going to we're gonna work it out. Um, I got this here. Um, I want to, yeah. So then I'm going to put this one. So I've always loved flowers and I was never like big on flower design or anything like that. A few years ago, um, I kind of got introduced to like a bunch of flowers and I started playing with them, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I just, I love art. I love decorating. And so I'm just very artistic and creative. And yeah. So, okay, I have some ivy over here I'm going to grab. Hold on. Oh my gosh. 
you guys are just like you're my friends or my family okay so let me just kind of show you this because i love this i'm so proud of this oh my gosh i made this um it was meant i was supposed to put it out for valentine's day and with everything going on i didn't get a chance to um so if you look at the top it actually it looks like wood it's actually cardboard <gasps> oh my gosh um and then um I will, I will show you guys how I made this. And then uh, I put gold sparkles around the edge. So as you can see, it's just cardboard. And then I, I drew lines with my pins on it. Anyways, and then, so the best part, my favorite part that I did, so I, I this was a dollar store flower that looked horrible. I'll move this down. And interjecting real quick, I got these little lights. And I haven't glued this one in yet. Oh, no, I didn't can't turn it on okay where is my other okay so I made this this is another thing so this was supposed to be a Valentine's thing that I did and I'm gonna do it for Mother's Day but pretty much what this is supposed to do is the same thing this is supposed to do which I go this way and it lights up and I did that all by myself I made that and created it so we'll get more into that when Mother's Day comes around but um that's the same thing this is supposed to do and it's so pretty <laughs> I'm just gonna set that there. It's gonna blend in. I probably shouldn't set it there, put it somewhere else. Oh, over here. You guys should see the random crap. Let me let me show you this. Make sure there's nothing confidential. Hold on, okay. This is this is what I do when I get bored. That whole file system right there is cereal boxes. That's all it is, is cereal boxes. But, um, yeah, and then I have washi tape. So if anybody wants to be pen pals, let me know. But anyways, so yeah, that's all cereal boxes. We'll get into that another time. Let's focus on this. I just get so excited. People come over. I'm like, let me show you everything that I make. So, okay. So I got this big thing here. I'm going to grab my pliers. I'm going to cut a branch off. Ugh. And then these just pop right off. Oh, maybe not. Okay, come on. Get off you go. Off you go. Why is it this one doesn't want to come off? This one's on there good. Is that? Look. Oh yeah, we'll do three of these. These will be our odd ones. So mouth. Well, I guess. There we go. I think I still want some baby's breasts. So I might have to go like scavenge for that. Um, shouldn't be too expensive. Get me a coupon. All right, guys. So that is our little, I'm so proud of it. It's so pretty. Ah, I'm so proud of it. And I tangled myself up here again. So proud of this. I love the stuff that I make. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I make random stuff, but I'm like, I don't, I want this. Here you go. <laughs> but this is one that I love. So, uh, this was, uh, how to make bougie decor on a budget and uh, adding in the flowers it would have been still i mean adding in the flowers that i use and everything now this is including like coupons and stuff you maybe would have spent thirty dollars but here's the thing so with this i used the stems from my dollar tree flowers and then these other ones that i used and bought were more expensive but then there's more stems right and a little bit goes a long way so even though I spent, cause like this thing right here uh, is like $10 and it was on sale, I got it half off. But look how much is here. Like how many more of these could you make? A lot, a lot more. So um, that's just, yeah, but okay. All right guys, well I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna go get working on my studio so I can get that up and going and have that done for you guys to see tomorrow. I'm super excited. Remember you're a king, you're a queen, you're part of the royal court. Never give up on your daydream. Please don't be a mass murderer. Know that you are loved, I care about you, you are a royal phoenix, and I will see you guys tomorrow on my vloggery. Am I forgetting anything? Probably. All right, I love you guys, bye. <laughs>
also be sure to check me out on my other social medias. And we got the merch coming soon. I love you guys. I also want to say congratulations to Candy Johnson. She just did a collaboration with Kim Kardashian and did a uh, one of her legendary tr face transformations and made Kim Kardashian Jasmine. I didn't even recognize her. I like, oh look, that that girl looks like Jasmine. She looks really pretty. And she's like, can you guess who I did a collab with? And I had to scroll down to actually see it was Kim. Uh, also, on that note, I wanted to point out in my first video, video, my first video. Is that a word? Video? I don't think so. Uh, in my first video with Bad and Bougie on a Budget, we were going out and we were talking. I realized that I really um, I contradicted myself, and I'm very disappointed in myself for that. I realized it afterwards. We are all human. We all judge. It's whether or not we choose to condemn. And when I was talking about Bad and Bougie and what it means, I was like, oh, it's not like Kylie Jenner or Kim Kardashian stuck up. And I thought about it. First off, I don't know them, and I've just heard nothing but rumors about them. Secondly, I understand, I mean, I'm going to be doing a video on this, like an actual skit, the struggles of being pretty, like, I know you guys don't think there are, but there is some effed up shit that happens, that's happened to me anyways, and I want to share those stories via just a funny, like, flashback video uh, movie, so warning it not there, but um, I, I don't think it was right for me to say that, because... You know, they have a lot of light on them, and for the most part, from what I've seen on my own and my own bits I've seen, they're very inclusive with their fans. They engage with people. I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they have, I mean, if they, I don't think that they're stuck up. I don't think that they think that they're better than people. I don't know. I don't have the right to say that. Uh, if that's the persona that they put off, so be it. But I know from my own experience, being a pretty woman, um, and just dealing with people sometimes people say oh well you think you're better than me and I'm like uh no like okay I had a guy once that would not stop hitting on me okay true story and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna reenact this whole thing because it was hilarious but he's like oh well you must be gay then what I just don't like you like I'm not interested in you so I'm gay yeah he's like you must only be into women because um you just you're not giving me the time of day I'm like I'm not interested. Okay. So it's just, it's things like that, uh, that just blow my mind. So I just wanted to recant what I said. I'm not going to take that video down because I did say it and it just shows that I'm human and I make mistakes. And, but I have no right to say that I don't know them personally. So.